Our partnership grant is titled First Nations Languages in the 21st Century, Looking Back, Looking Forward. And it brings together about 23 First Nations grassroots organizations where Aboriginal, where language revitalization is happening on the ground with academic partners and collaborators uh, to work on this really daunting task of revitalizing uh, languages and stemming the tide of language loss. I think for us it's important because our Haida language, it's, it's on the brink of extinction. And to be able to have seven years with this grant, to be planning, to be working together, um, it's really important, so it's really bringing us together to work as, as, as one to revitalize our language. British Columbia, where we operate, is uh, within Canada, if you want, the hotbed of linguistic diversity. We have uh, eight different language families represented uh, and about 30 different Indigenous languages. And every single one of those 30 languages is uh, critically endangered or, as with uh, Hatkil Haida, on the brink of extinction. In fact, uh, over the period, the, the seven years of the grant, in many of those uh, about a dozen languages that are part of our partnership, there will be no fluent speakers left that learned their language as the first language. And it's partly connecting the still living elders with those that are able to carry on the work that I think is going to leave an immense, a tremendous legacy for the future to have still living languages. We as uh, university-based academics uh, can work with First Nations language communities, with organizations that are already doing the work or trying to do the work to support them. And uh, I think that's where a partnership grant can make such a strong contribution because uh, it's engaging together and uh, bringing things to a newer level by doing collaborative work.